Kapil Sibyl now joins us. Kapil Sibyl, on a day when the BJP also had another uh, attack, they were firing on, on the third front, where they launched a video uh, which they allege raises issues of corruption in the Congress, comparing Dr. Manmohan Singh to Nero fiddling. Um, we have Amit Shah picking up the phone, calling the governors of West Bengal, calling the governors of uh, Bihar. Um, would you say that's enough? No, it's like this, uh, Sarah. Um, we are seeing a trailer to the before the release of the movie, uh, which will lead up to 2024. And um, and uh, let's forget the politics of it, because in your show and in other shows, uh, the BJP will blame uh, the Bihar government and blame the West Bengal government. And the West Bengal government will blame the BJP and the JDU will blame the BJP. We're, gonna, we're not going to reach anywhere with this. The fact is, who suffers? The innocent people of India suffer. They are the ones who are the victims of this violence. And why is the prime minister not speaking out? In order to ensure that there is no violence, it is the prime minister's responsibility to go on television and to tell the people of this country that nobody, nobody should indulge in violence. And that will send a message to his carters and it will send a message to the rest of the country that the prime minister stands against violence. The fact is that the prime minister is silent. And for the home minister to say that I'm expressing my concern and I call the governor and then to make a political speech, which you just uh, showed on, on, on your show, it only means that politics is hotting up. No political party, political parties are least concerned with the people of India. They are concerned with the outcome of the election is 2024. And what you are seeing is just a trailer. There's going to be violence in every state where the opposition is in power. And All right. the kind of language that the Home Minister used, not this is not the kind of language that the statesman should use, yeah. especially in, in democracy. You, this is not the kind of dialogue we need in this country. Please concentrate on the concerns of the people rather than instigating people to violence. All right. So according to Kapil Sibyl, the buck stops squarely at the door of the prime minister. The prime minister should speak up. The prime minister should send the message down to the guard, the footmen of the party who are out. And critically, I think the key takeaway of what Mr. Kapil Sibyl has just said is that he says violence is in every state where the opposition is in power.